rain on the speed rain. We receive the rain. We receive the rain. Bashiaya. Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to our prayer this Thursday. <clears throat> Hallelujah. And thank you all for being a part of our prayer. Our prayer. God bless you guys. We're going to just jump right in and begin to pray this morning. We're praying for direction throughout the month of February. Come with me to the book of Proverbs chapter 13. Proverbs chapter 13. We're going to be reading from verse 20. Hallelujah. The Bible says, whoever walks with the wise becomes wise. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise. But the companion of fools will suffer harm. The companion of fools will suffer harm. The word walk, when you think of somebody walking, that means they are moving in a direction. Somebody walks in a direction. They are moving in a direction. If you're standing, you're not moving. But once you start walking, you are headed in a direction. Hallelujah. So whenever you see the word walk, in, in, inadvertently, it talks about direction. Hallelujah. We're praying for direction. Whoever walks in, with the wise becomes wise. But the companion of fools will suffer harm. This morning, I want us to begin to pray for the kind of associations we have. You know, the kind of friends you have, the kind of people you surround yourself with, the kind of voices in your life. And it doesn't have to mean people, physical people. It may even be things that you read, things that you see online, things that you subscribe to. You know, those things have an influence on the direction your life will take. The Bible says, whoever walks with the wise association becomes wise. But if you're a companion of fools, you will suffer harm. We're going to pray this morning, our first, first prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, select for me companions, mates, and friends who will add value to my life. There are some people, when they come into your life, when they come, you will know that they brought value because your life will improve. Things will move in the right direction. They are like connectors. They are like boosters. When they come into your life, value comes. Hallelujah. When God wants to bless a man, oftentimes he will send another man or woman into your life to bless you. That man can come in, in, in the form of a spouse. He, he can come in form of a, of a wife. He can come in form of a business partner. He can be a friend you met at school or, or at work. But a connection is made. And that because of that association, God begins to bless you because that man carries a grace. And that grace begins to lead you in the right direction. He begins to advise you. He begins to counsel you. You're going to pray this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. This is a good prayer. Select me, Lord. Select for me companions and mates and friends who will add value to my life. Lord, I don't want to suffer harm because of association. In every area of my life, lead and direct me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Turn that into your prayer point. Lord, we thank you this morning. We are praying, oh God, for you to handpick our friends for us, for you to handpick our associates for us, especially for our children and the young ones. Lord, as they go through the halls of life, as they meet people every day, Lord, decisions need to be made. Who can be my friend? Who wants to be my friend? Who wants to be my associate? Who do I marry? Who do I spend my life with? There are important associations we must make in life. But some of them can, can some of them will bring value into our life. Lord, we pray, direct us, oh God. Ah, Lord, select for me companions, mates, and friends who will add value to my life. Maybe you are thinking of starting a business, but there is a man or a woman in your future that you must connect with. Lord, connect me with destiny helpers. Connect me with people who will lead me in the right direction, who will lead me to victory, who will guide me and give me counsel on how to do what I need to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, Mataraka Sata Yakabataka Sata, Reba Doroko Soto Yakababa, Ida Kababa, Ida Kasata Yamadeke Seti, Reke Badoroko Soto Madaka Badaka Baraka Kasata Yakasata 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 Yak
Ah, my God, men and women who will help me, men and women who will lift me up, men and women who are rope bearers, men and women who are body bearers, men and women who are who are who will come in and, and they have a stake in my destiny. Ah, my God, my stakeholders of my destiny, people who will come and say, I will help you. People who will come and say, I will not rest until I bless you. People who will come and say, let me help you. Let me add value to your life. Those are the kind of associations we are looking for. Ah, we are looking for those men. In the name of, begin to pray. Our children, we are praying for our children as well. We stand in the gap for our family members and our children and our, and our, and our parents, oh Lord. People who will come into their lives. In the name Jesus Christ, Mata Kasata Yaka Bada, Re Bada Kasata Kapata Kasata, Leke Sete Kapata Kapata Kasata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is important. I have seen, listen, I have I've seen many situations, particularly with, with our parents, our parents' generation, even in this generation. A man decides to remarry, he loses his wife. And is a widower for a few few years, and he decides to marry again. But this time around, the person he marries brings problems into his life. Some are married to wicked women. Some are married to wicked men because another friend introduced them to this person, and all of a sudden, everything they have worked for in their life is destroyed. That woman comes into their life. That man comes into their life and destroys their relationships. They don't get well with their children anymore. They don't talk to anyone be any, anymore. All the valuable connections they have made over the span of their lives, one person comes into their life and destroys everything. Hallelujah. You are going to pray this morning, the same in business. One man can make a difference in your destiny. One man can determine if you will make it or not. One man will determine if, or one woman can determine if you will succeed or not. The Bible says, whoever walks with the wise, become wise. Who you walk with is absolutely essential. You just don't choose friends or associates casually. That's too important a decision to make. Because Satan will often send men into people's lives to destroy what God is doing there. You're going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, separate me from fools. Ah, my God. The Bible says the companion of fools will, be, will suffer harm. Lord, separate me from fools. Lord, detach me from the company of foolish people. Those who are unwise, those who give God ungodly counsel, Lord, separate me in the name of Jesus. Turn that to your prayer. Father, in the life of my children, my teenage children, my young adult children, in my life, in my family, with my business, in my career, with my marital decisions, in my relationship, in my dating, whatever it is, Lord. Father, Lord, separate me from fools. Ah, my God, people, Lord, set me, separate me from the community, the company of fools, in the name of Jesus Christ. Detach me from such people. Severe all unworthy relationships in my life. Make that your prayer this morning. Pray. Pray. I don't want to work with fools. I don't want to work with fools. I don't want to be found in the company of fools. For the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, whoever walks with the wise shall become wise. I want to be wise. I want value in my life. Send men and women into my life who will add value into my life. Send and men and women who will bring value into my life, who will bring me up, who will lift me up, who will improve me, oh God. I don't want to be a companion of fools. I want to head in the right direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are praying. We are praying. Psalm 1 verse 1. We're still praying for direction this morning. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. You see that word again, walks. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. 
nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But the, I want to focus on that key phrase, walks not. In the council, I said council leads to direction. Council means advice. Council means, means yeah, advice. So somebody advises you, you have a choice to obey, to accept the advice, or to reject it. And once you accept counsel, once you accept advice, you are moving in that direction of the advice. So the Bible is saying here, specifically, if you can reject ungodly counsel, wicked counsel, you are blessed. If you decide not to walk in the recommendations of the wicked, you are blessed. So you can see here that the two verses we've seen this morning, the Bible says, whoever walks with the wise shall be wise. And then it says in, in the book of Psalms, it says, blessed is the man who walks not in the council. So it means that your walk represents the direction of your life. God is interested in your walk. God is interested in the counsel you receive. God is interested in the company you receive. Oh, my God. If you look at the, the, the Amplified Version, it says in the, in, the, in the Amplified Version, it said, blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God. It is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. What does that mean? It says following their advice and example. God does not want you following unbelievers' examples. God does not want you following people, the recommendations and advice of ungodly people, of fools. Why are you seeking advice from people who don't know Christ? Why? Bible says if you can reject their counsel, if you can accept the godly counsel from the word of God, from people who know God, from people who have a track record of walking with God, you will be blessed, you will be fortunate, you are prosperous, you are favored. You are going to pray this morning, Father Lord, listen, many of us have made all kinds of errors because we have accepted advice from wrong people. It comes from the company you keep. Ah, my sister, let me tell you the truth. You should do it this way. It's not the truth. Who told you that's the truth? Because they did it that way does not mean you should do it that way. You should do it the same way. I've said it many times. The company you keep is absolutely important. You are going to pray this morning. Father, I don't want to destroy my destiny. I don't want to miss my, my destiny. I don't want to miss my breakthrough. I don't want to miss my glory. I don't want to miss what you have for me because somebody has deceived me, because somebody has steered me in the wrong direction. Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not make foolish decisions. Give me counsel, oh God. I'm not looking up. To, uh, look, my decision making is not coming from Google. My decision making is not dependent on YouTube. My decision making is not dependent on Snapchat or Facebook. My decision making is not dependent on what my friends think or say. Lord, my decision comes from you. Ah, Lord, I want wise counsel. I want divine counsel. Lead me, oh God. Give me direction, oh God. Your counsel is your direction. I will not walk in the counsel of the wicked. I will not follow their advice. I begin to pray for my children as well. I will not follow, the, they will not follow the advice of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Oh, Rama Tera Kasaya Kadaka Bada Kasata. Eke Sete Yaka Bada Kaba. There is power in association. There is power in association. Mateke Sete Yaka Doko Soto Yaka Bada. Mata Kasata Kabada Kasata Yeke Sete Kabada Ka. Roko Soto Ika Bada Kasata Yaka. Lord, give us, give us counsel this morning. Morning. Give us counsel this week. Give us counsel in this month of February. This year, oh God, we receive divine counsel so that we know the way to walk. Whoever walks with the wise will be wise. Lord, we want to walk with you, oh wise one, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. There was a man in the Bible called Abraham. Abraham was a man beloved of God. He walked with God. Bible says, listen, when God called Abraham, he told him in Genesis, I think it's chapter 18, I'm not sure. Chapter 17, chapter 18, I'm not sure. The first, one of the first things that God told Abraham was, he said, Abraham, walk with me 
and be blameless. He said, walk with me, which means follow my counsel, follow my leading. Let me guide you. Walk with me. He says, walk with me and be blameless. He said, I will make you exceedingly great. He said, I will be your reward. I will, I, I will, be, I will be your exceedingly re great reward. I will be your shield, thank you, Holy Spirit, and your exceeding great reward. Walk with me and be blameless. And as long as Abraham walked with God, he was blessed. Abraham was blessed beyond imagination. There was a man who was, who had, who kept the company, who, had, who kept company with Abraham. His name was Lot. Lot was his nephew. As long as Lot hanged around Abraham, he was blessed too. Lot was an ungodly person. He didn't know God. But because he was always with Abraham, he followed Abraham everywhere. He lived with Abraham. He sat with him. He ate with him. Everywhere Abraham went, he went with Abraham. And because of that, Lot begin, began to become blessed too. He became, he became great. Just because he walked with Abraham. Who was working with God? Association is very powerful. The moment Lot left Abraham, his life was destroyed. You know the story of Lot? Was destroyed. Do not take for granted the power, the power of association. Blessings come from divine direction. We can counsel, we always hinder God's work in your life. So counsel leads to direction. Whatever counsel you accept, whether it's wicked counsel, whether it's godly counsel, it will lead you to a direction. And one of, we're going to pray the next prayer point. I want us to focus on this next prayer point. It's very important. There are some people in your life or you encounter, they have no direction. They are going nowhere. They have no ambition. They have no, see, they have, they have no plan for their life. They are just living day to day, hand to mouth. There is no desire, no, no ambition. They have no future. They have no dreams. And if you associate with those kind of people, it will hinder you. The chicken and, and the eagle are both birds. The chicken never flies. He has wings, but he will never fly. But the eagle is a bird like the chicken, and it flies and it soars. It's a majestic bird. Some of us, have, we have been created to be eagles, but we have come to a place where we are acting like chickens. We are on the ground level. We refuse to fly and soar in life. So there are some people in our lives that they are going nowhere. They have no glory. They have no ambition. They have no destination. And if you attach yourself to them, they will hinder you. There's another set of people. That's one set. There's another set of people. They have a plan, but their plan is evil. They have a destination, but it is destruction. They are satanic agents. And also, if you associate with those ones, it is a problem. You can't listen. If you, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't swim, so I don't know how to row boats. And you know, I'm not an avid um, sailor. I don't know anything about sailing. But I know that when you see people in the boats rowing the boats, they row in the same direction. And as you row the boat, if you have the the the, the paddle or the the uh, the oars, and you are rolling like that, all of you, if you are more than two in the boat, or if there's more than one person in the boat, you must row in the same direction in sync, so that the boat heads in, this, in one particular direction. You must row in sync. If you are rowing this way and your partner is rowing the opposite way, the boat will go in circles. It will not move. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. You are going to pray this morning. Ah, Lord, paradventure, ah, there is a person in my life. There is a voice in my life. I want you to begin to pray. And I, again, we are praying for our children. 
our young young adults and our teenage children, those ones especially. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, for adventure, Madaka Satayaka Bato Kosutu. For adventure, there is there is somebody in my life. Every meaningless association, every aimless, directionless friendship, or every evil associate in my life. Lord, cut them off today. Cut them off now. Some of them, they look, they are very nice to you. Some of them, you like them because they are very funny and they make you feel good. Some of them are very kind-hearted to you and they always, you like to be around them. But they are going nowhere. They have no, you have nothing to do with them. Your association with them will only hinder you. As long as you are with them, you are going nowhere. Today, you are going to say, Father, I don't want to see with the eye of the flesh. Lord, today, every person, every person in my life, every Every association that will not add value to my life. I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to waste. I don't have time to sit around and look around and, and try and waste my life. No, 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 no. Lord, I want to move forward. I want to move forward. Lord, cut them off in my life. For every meaningless association, every divisive, evil association in my life, for adventure in my ignorance, I have allowed them in. Lord, Severe them, Lord, cut them off in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. We cut them off, we cut them off, we cut them off. Cut them off. Every cancerous relationship, we cut them off. Every relationship that is that is an impurity in my life, we cut them off. Mataka Satayaka Bataka Satayake, Mateke Setayaka Bataka Satayake Baba, Rabata, begin to cut them off. Begin to cut them off. If you don't open your mouth, they will remain there. If you don't say enough, you remain there. You don't understand what I'm saying. Until Abraham got rid of Lot. Ha <laughs> my God. It came to a point that Lot became a problem to Abraham. Lot, his nephew, became a problem. They began to fight each other. His people were fighting Abraham's people. And one day, God said, let Lot go. Let Lot go. As long as Lot is in your life, you will not reach the promised land. As long as there's a Lot in your life, you cannot reach the blessing. Some of you, you are being sentimental. Some of you, you are too emotional. You are too sentimental. Your future is at stake. You cannot afford to be emotional. You cannot play games with where God is taking you to. God is not a sentimental God. Oh, he's my cousin. So what? Oh, he's my BFF. So what? Oh, he's my nephew. So what? God does not care. God says, do you want your blessing? Do you want the glory? Do you want your breakthrough? If the answer is yes, you must severe every meaningless relationship. Abraham had to make a decision. Can you make that hard decision today? Can you say, Lord, I know this person is in my life, but Lord, they are hindering me. Lord, they are a hindrance. Lord, they are a stumbling block. I know I cannot go anywhere as long as I have this person around me. You are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I said every meaningless relationship, every aimless, directionless evil, ah, ah, my God, every hindrance in my life, in the form of a man or a woman in the life of my children. Lord, cut them off. Say, I release myself from such a union by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, oh my God, it is done. Hey, Rabba Deka Sata Yaka Babaraka Daka Sata Eke Sete Yakata Eba Doko Soto Ima Dakasa. We cut them off. We release ourselves from every unholy alliance. We cut ourselves off from every unholy unholy union. We say no more. We are free. We set ourselves free by the authority and the power in the name of this precious precious son of God, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The moment Lot left Abraham, Abraham began to, but I would say, now look. In the moment they left and went their separate ways, Abraham said, Lot, you are my nephew. You are blood. You are my family. But where I'm going, you can't come with me. Where I'm going, in fact, not only can you not come with me, you will stop me from going to where I need to get to. Mm. 
Abraham made a hard decision. Some of you need to make some hard choices. You know, some of you, you know what I'm talking about. The Spirit of God has been talking to you. Get rid of this relationship. Get rid of this person who you are constantly texting and phoning every time. They constantly have negativity, bad advice, but you keep them in your life because they make you feel good. You keep them in your life because you are sentimental. There's a connection. Maybe you're family or you've known them for a long time. Oh, you know, we grew up together. So what? Do you want the blessing or not? Ah, oh, my God. May you catch this in Jesus' name. Before we round up this morning, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the Spirit of God. To guide us. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is, is, is a wonderful, wonderful. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. If you can, if you know the Holy Spirit and you allow Him to lead you, the Bible says He will guide you to all truth. Everything we're talking about here, it is orchestrated by the Spirit of God. In Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord will rest on Him. It was describing Jesus. The prophetic utterance by the prophet Isaiah describing the person of Jesus. He said, the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. And I began to ask, why? Why does the spirit need to rest on a vessel? Why does the spirit of God need to rest on Jesus? And he explains to us, he says, this, that spirit is the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. Now, if you notice, these are the attributes that the spirit of God brings into a man's life when he comes into your life. You cannot have divine wisdom if you don't have the spirit of God resting upon your life. You can never receive understanding. You can never receive counsel. That word counsel means advice. Let me tell you how to do it. God will never speak to you unless you have his spirit resting upon you. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. It is the Holy Spirit that gives direction. When he comes upon a life, he does a lot of things. But one of the things he does, he gives direction. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding to give counsel, to provide knowledge, information, what to do, how to do it, when to do it. But you must allow the spirit to rest upon you. You are going to pray. Our final prayer this morning. Our time is up. You are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your Holy Spirit rest upon me. Uh, this is important because some of us, we say, hey, I have the Holy Spirit. We grieve the Holy Spirit. We shut him off. We don't listen to him. We fight him. We argue with him. We resist him. This morning, say, Holy Spirit, I will no longer fight you. Mm. I will no longer resist you. I know you are in my life for a reason. Jesus gave me the Holy Spirit for a reason. One of the reasons is to give me direction. You are not without help. The Holy Ghost is your helper. He says, I will send you another helper. That's what Jesus said. So the Holy Spirit is in your life to help you. But don't fight your helper. How can you be fighting the person who is supposed to help you? How can you be resisting the person who is supposed to help you? And then you are saying, I have no help. How can you grieve the Holy Spirit? You are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I allow the Spirit to rest upon me. I receive wisdom, understanding, and counsel for direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Make that prayer this morning as we round off. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, rest upon us. Holy Spirit, rest upon us. Holy Ghost, Spirit of Jesus, fall afresh on us. For those who have been resisting, Lord, we ask for forgiveness. Holy Spirit, our God, the third person of the Trinity, we thank you because we know you are in our lives to provide direction, to provide counsel, to help, ah, to guide us into all truth. Lord, for as many that have resisted, that have ignored, we repent. We repent. We need you, oh God. 
We are foolish. The wisdom of our wisdom is like foolishness to you. No matter how smart we are, oh Lord, it is still foolishness. We think we know, but we don't know. We think we see, but we don't see anything. There is a way that seemeth right unto us, but the end of that path is, direct, is death. Father, we ask for direction this morning. We rest upon you and we allow the Holy Spirit to rest upon us so that we can be led, we can be guided, we can be directed. We give you praise, O oh God, for you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning. Let's share the grace as we round up this morning. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning. Enjoy your day. And I will see you tomorrow morning, Friday, for another session of prayer. Have a wonderful day. The Holy Ghost will lead you this, this week. The Holy Ghost will lead you this month. In 2024, he will lead you and guide you. God bless you. Good morning.